Guys, I think we have solved it. I think we have figured out in this master plan to defeat Jensen. In a recent tweet from the tech YouTuber called Cortex, it seems like AMD has been cut off a bit by Nvidia's aggressive and pure pricing. According to an AMD card manufacturer, AMD initially planned a 16GB based graphics card for $599, but after Nvidia's announcement, it seems like they're rethinking that and dropping the card 50 bucks down to $549 for the 16GB variant, whereas the other planned 8GB card is set to have a price tag of $499, which uh, yeah, means that it's going up right against the 3070. Now, in this tweet, the said AMD partner also shares that they will obtain GPUs as well as memory for AMD's upcoming GPUs in September, which means that Big Navi still seem on track for either an October or a November launch. Now, based on this info coming from Cortex, plus other big Navi leaks from other awesome profiles in the industry, I think we've now been able to figure out not just big Navi's relative gaming performance, but also other interesting things as well. And in today's video, yeah, we're gonna discuss the RX 6000 aka big Navi's release, pricing, specifications, and possible performance. And in case you don't want to miss any juicy Ampere or big Navi news, yeah, you want to make sure to subscribe to never miss an episode. So let's quickly have a look at what we know about Big Navi so far. So based on rumors, AMD got 3 GPUs based on RDNA 2 that will make its way to the PC gaming space. We got Navi 21, 22 and 23. Navi 22 was initially said to be exclusive for Apple, but more recent leaks points to this being for gamers as well, possibly targeting GA104, which means that this GPU has 3070 level performance. Secondly, we got Navi 21, which is said to have codename Sienna Cichlid or Big Navi. This GPU will most likely target GA102. This is an ATCU machine that ultimately can reach RTX 3080 level performance. Navi 23 is then said to be an entry level GPU. Think 5500 XT replacement, and thus this should target GA106. With that in mind, let's look at the pricing. So Nvidia launched the 3070 and the 3080 at 499 and 699 respectively. And according to this tweet, AMD seems to be placing the 8 gig card right next to the 3070, while the 16 gig variant will be priced 549, which is only 50 bucks more and far cheaper than the 3080. I've seen a couple of people suggesting that this is big Navi and Navi 21. So let's see what rumors been saying and see what makes sense then. According to rumors, AMD is making a at least four different SKUs for the Navi 21 GPU. So let's assume that this info is correct, that would essentially give us XTX, XT, XL and XE based on recent leaks. Now the top SKU variant called XTX is said to make use of the full 5120 core and ATCU count. According to AMD, this is supposed to be a Halo product and this will possibly be water cooled and that to me suggests that this possibly Possibly water-cooled card will be quite more expensive than 549 US dollars and thus shouldn't be the card mentioned in the tweet. That leaves us with Navi 21 XT, said to also have 16 gigs of VRAM. It's also supposed to not be a cutdown, so let's assume it's also got 5120 cores. A 5120 cores and 16 gigs of VRAM suggests that this is going to be a huge ship. We're talking 505 square millimeters, which makes it pretty clear that this most likely won't be a 549 US dollar ship. This means that this cannot be Navi 21. Instead, the GPU AMD is thinking of dropping the price of is most likely a Navi 22 GPU, a graphics card with 16 gigs of VRAM with 3070 like performance. AMD was gonna charge 599 for this before Nvidia's announcement. Now, however, they seem tempted to drop it down to 549. Nvidia is responding to this card with the 3070 Ti or Super and in case you're interested I cover this card in much greater depth in a video linked up down below. Now the 8GB card said to be $50 cheaper definitely targets the 3070 but will most likely perform slightly better and this TPU has to be a cut down of Navi 22 because Big Navi or Navi 21 only comes in two variants we got 12 and 16GB. 
And I guess time will tell where all of this ends. Anyway, based on all the info we got so far in terms of performance, Navi 22 should most likely reach 3070 performance at the bare minimum, where Navi 21 has dead target at GA102. We're talking RTX 3080 level performance here. There is something about this tweet from Scott Herkelman responding to a user claiming that there is not a chance RDNA2 can get close to Ampere performance that makes me want to think AMD is no something that we currently don't. But yeah, I could just be wrong. I keep my fingers crossed and I'm hoping for a great battle between Nvidia and AMD here. As for release date for this card, we know Big Nav is coming out before next gen consoles, so, so we're most likely looking at a release frame before November of 2020. What do you think about this, guys? Drop it down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Can Sienna Cichlid and Big Navi cause any real threats to Nvidia? Let me know down below.